tazamaji na tusalie katika usaili huo wa profesa Kindiki Kiture ambapo mbunge wa Samburu Magharibi na Isula Lesuda ametiririkwa na machozi asubuhi wakati wa kumhoji waziri mteule wa usalama profesa Kindiki Kiture Lesuda alisikitishwa na hali mbaya ya usalama bondeni haswa taarifa alizopokea Jumatatu kuhusu wizi wa mifugo ambao walivamia jamii yake ya Samburu na kutoroka na mifugo baada ya kumjeruhi mfugaji Kindiki alitakiwa kueleza mikakati ya kumaliza uhalifu na wizo mifugo eneo la kaskazini na kaskazini mashariki mwa Kenya. We lost over 42 police officers and the only thing we have to show in Baragui is a monument with the names of these fallen heroes. As a leader I don't run from away from my responsibility and have been consistent and diligent but nomini I am tired. I am honestly tired and Kenyans are tired what do you intend to do differently from your predecessors away from the usual rhetoric and threats perhaps you need to come and live in Kurkur, Pora, Longewan, Losuk, Incognito for only one week come and stay there what strategy or are your thoughts do you have to end this menace once and for all so that as a leader I can execute my other national duties and not concern myself only on matters of security. Thank you. I agree with the Honorable Naisula. The Honorable Naisula speaks on behalf of about 67% of Kenya's territory, the Kenya of the North. The Kenya of the North includes the North Rift, northeastern parts of Tana River and some parts of the coastal strip fall in that category. A territory that is largely facing very serious insecurity. And allow me just to address the issue of banditry in the North Rift. I have been instructed subject to this approval process to make sure that we deal with banditry once and for all in the North Rift. Therefore, what am I going to do? I will not be sharing operational issues here, but one of the challenges we have is the lack of operational capability for our officers who are serving in those areas. I have requested for facilitation so that we are able to improve the existing capabilities both for air and land mobility, but also for protection of officers to ensure that they keep the peace there and deal with that issue. We will also have to invoke the provisions of the Constitution and the National Police Service Act to ensure that we actually energize the community policing um, uh, uh, program to make sure that we don't just rely on soldiers, uh, on um, officers who are just posted there and they do not even understand this terrain. So that the community helps the officers to be able to track the criminals and in the meantime, as we venture in that collaborative community policing uh, initiative. In the meantime, you allow us to do what the law says should happen to criminals.